Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode where I review different flavors of Dr. Pepper, random soda flavors, compare the two, or try out whatever you the viewer have recommended to me. Today I'll be taking a look at comparing the regular flavor of Dr. Pepper against another flavor of soda that kind of resembles Dr. Pepper or has been mentioned to taste somewhat similar to it. Uh, today that's going to be the Hill Country Fair Black Cherry Soda. Um, the main reason I'm going to go ahead and guess here that some people have equated these flavors to be similar is due to that cherry underlining flavor, which is Dr. Pepper's kind of key, key factor to fame there is they're known for that cherry flavoredness along with the other 22 amazing flavors. I'm trying to be objective there, but you can tell I'm a little biased. That being said, let's go ahead and dive right in. Go ahead and get the taste of Dr. Pepper fresh in my mind. All right, now for the palate cleanser. Okay, and now for this Hill Country Fair Black Cherry Soda. I don't know anything else about this, just saw it on the shelf and went for it. Okay, uh, the cherry scent is not as strong as I would have expected for it being a cherry flavored soda. Uh, a lot of the others I can smell a lot of cherry right away, but this one is just very, it's just kind of present and that's about it. Hmm, okay, despite it mentioning black cherry on the can, I'm not really greeted with a strong black cherry presence or a cherry presence of any kind whatsoever, uh, which is very interesting given the fact that this one seems to be promoting a lot of black cherry. Uh, it, it seems like a regular tasting soda uh, with some extra sweet stuff added and maybe a hint of cherry. Uh, it is worthy of the second sip, so hopefully I can gather a little bit more and see what the aftertaste is like there. Pretty much the same story. So as far as uh, cherry flavored sodas go, this one is pretty silent compared to the other ones I've tried. Not saying that that's necessarily a bad thing, but if you have a label that says, I'm, I'm bringing this to the table, but you don't bring a whole lot to the table, it's kind of like, why put that label on the can <clears throat> in the biggest font available compared to everything else? It might've just been down here as a little sub font or something. Anyway, that's besides the point. Um, I do taste the cherry. There's barely any cherry aftertaste. Barely any aftertaste for this whole can uh, anyway. Um, so I'm I'm going to only give this guy a five out of 10. It It's okay, um, but it's not really something that I'm going to be remembering much of later. I'll pretty much only remember this because I recorded this episode. Other than that, I'm not gonna recall it or really try it again. But if you like cherry stuff and you're interested, Feel free to try it out. Let me know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.